What do you think it is, Dan? Man, I don't know, but I like it. It's stopping the reel. It's looking good. I think it might be Moby Dick. Moby's Dick. <laughs> not, not Moby's it's Dick. Not a porno. It's Moby Dick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> It's 5.30 in the morning and I am cooking up an amberjack steak for breakfast. That was in the last video that you guys watched, but today we are heading to Marathon. I'm gonna pick up Captain Dan and then we're gonna head over to Marathon. We're hopping on Captain Matt's boat. We're gonna head offshore. I think we're gonna do some sword fishing, some deep dropping for queens, but I have some sad news I wanna share. So I'm over here on my laptop doing all my messaging through my MacBook because I was paddle boarding and like seven boats came past me in a row and one of them was just massive. And he was throwing like three, four foot waves. And I remember all these waves hitting me and I did like a straight up backflip off of my paddle board. Lost my hat, I lost my sunglasses, I lost my Raycon earbuds and I lost my iPhone. <laughs> So, I learned a lot of lessons, I think. Oh, my alarm's going off. This is my old Google Pixel phone I'm using, but it doesn't have a SIM card in it. I just use it for alarms. That's how I woke up this morning. Anyways, Amberjack. Freshly cooked Amberjack. If you want the full review of how that tastes, you gotta watch my last video. But I gotta finish packing up my gear and I'll see you guys in the car. All right, let's get this show on the road. All I know is that I really want a coffee. That's all I know. First stop is gonna be picking up Captain Dan. Let's see how bright and bushy tailed he is this morning. Oh, I'm ready to go fishing. I'm ready to go fishing. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go fishing. Let's go catch a sword fist. Yeah. Pikemeister is here. We are here. We the are caravan the is ready. All right, we need ice. Okay, so we need ice. Oh, that's the cooler. Okay. Do you have squid? I have oh some. my god. I, I, got, I, got I some, didn't. I got some. I got you covered. No worries. Okay. I, I just had an old bag of gross squid. Yeah, yeah, no was that Matt that said he was going to go get some in the morning or is that you? That was you. <laughs> that was me? The squid. You said you were going to get some. I said I had some, but somebody oh. said they might go get some. We're not smart, but we're strong. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Look who we got. Yo, hey, what's going on? Let's go. We're, good. we're heading, man. We're first first stop, though, before we go to Matt's, we're going to go pick up some bagels at the Marathon Bagel Place. Marathon Bagels. That's Marathon right. Bagels. They Marathon. make the best bagels in the Keys. Best bagels. Best bagels. What is that? Rainbow? Where's the rainbow, Dan? <laughs> Damn. Well, there's Robbie's, at least. There's Robbie's. How about that? Yeah, Robbie stole the rainbow. There was a rainbow out there, people. Look what I got. What do you got? I got Starbucks, baby. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Filming the bagel place. Right. We're pulling up to the bagel place. Pulling up. We Marathon made it. bagels. Marathon bagels. <clears throat> and there's always cops here for some reason. I think they like bagels. Ooh wee. Baby mama jama. Oh yeah. All right, we got two big bags of bagels. Dan somehow managed to spend a hundred dollars at the bagel shop. A hundred dollars worth of bagels. <laughs> golden bagels. Golden bagels. Oh, we should start a bagel business. Yeah, yeah, we're the <laughs> Why are we making YouTube videos when we could be selling bagels? I will say though, this is a hefty bag of bagels. It's got some real weight to it. What did we just do? <laughs> we just spent a hundred dollars on bagels. A hundred bucks on bagels. You know what's good though? They're 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 salmon. There's salmon on the bagels. So mm. if worst comes to worst, we can deep drop with some of the salmon. That'd be kind of. Oh, uh, that is quite the sacrifice. <laughs> and get a little rosy like this big. All right, onward to Matt's house. To Matt's house we go. We are on the street. We believe, right? This got to be it. I think it's this house right here. This one. You got it. Skirt! 
Should I back in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got food here. I got two coffees. I guess we just start eating it, right? All right, I guess. All right, here's some breakfast. Perfect. Good morning. Good morning, brother. How are you? How's it going, man? Good, Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I won't get the camera. Yeah. All right. Did you do the scone check on him? <laughs> uh, I did. All, All right. right. We did an exercise. He, I was exercised earlier. You'll find out. <laughs> we actually did a scone. Yeah. So if it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. My so. eyes rolled in the back of my head and everything. So I should be good. Is that a deep fryer? No, vacuum packer. Oh. Yeah, I just got that. Wow. So I have like to a vacuum seal fish. Yeah, it's a chamber back. So I have like this oh, one. Oh, that's is, like industrial. That's nice. You know, I got this one, which was kind of an industrial, but that's kind of like mine. Where, but I have a smaller version than that. Yeah, it's beefy, but when you got a sword laying on the dock, you can't keep off. <laughs> so these these things are really cool. You never seen one of these? No. How does it work? It pressurizes the thing and sucks it out of the world. I'll show you. So you, you put it in there. Yeah, you put it in there. You flip the lid, let me get this is this is nice. So this is cool. Yeah. So you hit go and you program how much time you want it to run? Uh huh. How do you know how much time you want it to run? Well you can well you you watch when you test it. Okay. So you hit start. It's gonna it's gonna pressurize the inside of that. Oh, so first it like inflates it. Yeah, it's pressurizing the system, then it'll suck it all out. Huh. I I packed a bunch of stuff yesterday with That's it. That's great. So I got it set at 28 seconds. That's free. I still got to tune it up, and you can you can tell it how long to go and how long to seal for. Uh -huh. Watch watch so the top when it. So it's about to do that right now. So oh, watch it. Now it's gonna, gonna suck. Do. Watch this. So. Oh man. Oh. Okay. I sucked it right out. That's nice. So you can just stick them in there and... And then that's it. Is, it, is it hot? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. Done with the Starbucks. On to the cold brew. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to be zinging. What do we got in there? Oh, swordfish. Damn. That was me. That one's good, too. Amazing. This one's this full, one too? too? Holy crap. Let's see what's in there. Oh, oh, beautiful jeez. And that, just the way I like it, too. I don't like the pink ones. I don't like the, uh, the yep. pumpkin ones. That's Dan doesn't like, like the pumpkin ones, yeah. That's the one I like, right there, baby. That is amazing. What, is that a, is that a mutton snapper? That belly? Yeah, that. That's a queen snapper. Oh, oh queen I, snapper. I rigged up the big queen we caught the other day nice. as one of our baits. Oh, queen snapper is bait. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the year you're living large. That skin is so tough. You can't stitch it. You gotta be kidding me. It is tough. I'm out here with an ice pick trying to get it through there to get it out. Wow. I got it. Never had one that big. No. Wait, so are we going for swords or queens today? Sir, okay, swords first. Both, swords both. and queens. Ooh. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. What, to buying one of these? Every time I come Damn. out. I'm getting closer. You're gonna do it. I'm getting closer every time. <laughs> you know why? We have a swordfish grounds where we live. Yeah, we do. We should start doing that. I know. We should. And we get Matt. We bring Matt to come up. See? All right. And we take him to our swordfish grounds. And then you can teach us how to swordfish out there. Okay, I actually have a funny story. So we were heading out pitch black because we were heading out in the morning. Yeah, it was what crack. And it was not wavy or anything and i'm getting wet splash 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 and i was like what kind of boat is this he's like an ocean master and in my head i'm like man these things suck it's flat and i'm getting wet what happened was my coffee i seen that was in there and i'm standing there and the coffee's just spraying on me <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking it's it's the ball the water i'm like this is a wet boat <laughs> no, it was my coffee. No, the, the boat was awesome. I love that boat. All right, we made it to Marathon. We got Captain Matt here. Woo, we got that sun coming out. Hot today. She's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Yep. What's the game plan today? We are going to head offshore. We're going to see if Mr. Swordfish is going to cooperate today. As you all remember, last time we had a potential skunk on board. That's so we're gonna we're gonna hang loose. And hopefully we got the skunk off the board. We have performed the exorcism. Yeah, yes. Dan, 
Dan performed an exorcism on me earlier. That's not on video, but my eyeballs rolled the back of my head. <laughs> All the juju is gone. We should no be good. More, no more bad sword juju. Yeah, but I saw the pictures. You you took the coal out. You guys caught a big swordfish, and you'll also caught a very nice queen snapper. And a snowy grouper and a large tilefish on a double. We did Damn. a three musketeer run, we called that. All right. And aren't you, what did you say, 13 out of 13 on the swords right now? On the, I look at different things, moon tide phases and stuff. On the phase we're going to be fishing today, I am 13 straight on swordfish. <laughs> oh. No pressure, Heiko. No pressure. <laughs> All right, well, we're going out with Captain Matt today. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel, Marathon Sport Fishing. This guy gets on the fish. We also got Captain Dan back there, of course. And let's hit it. That's it. We're going to hit it. We spotted some birds. Here we go. Putting out some feathers. I'm going long. We got birds in front of the boat. Maybe we'll uh, hook a little mahi here. Oh wow, there's a lot of birds. What is that? Whoa, what is, is that a dead turtle? All right, just threw the flag out so we know where we're at. Yep. Look at all the birds. Yeah, a real small little mahi that just busted. Oh, I, I see it on the surface there. Yep. Yep. Got it. We are out at the sword grounds, saw some birds, so we're gonna troll some feathers real quick before we put down our sword baits. Maybe we'll get that mahi. Let's get the mahi. Come on, fight it, fight it. Birds, 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 birds everywhere. He dropped it, oh my God. No, he's going for it again. He's trying to pick it up, you see him? When I was fishing with those guys, we had a bird pick it up too, and they're like, hi, go. Why did the birds coming for your rod? No my head. Right, so we're looking at swordfish bait options. Here this we go. is the exact bait in the pool. That's it. Wait, what? Then that's the one we should use. We can use that one. He's frozen yet. Otherwise, I've got. Oh, is this a mahi belly or? A... Yeah, some, one's a mahi and one's a um, bonita strip. Okay. But those are froze. These are fresh. So oh. I got a barracuda Ooh. strip on, and I got a strip of. Here's the queen snapper. Queen snapper? <laughs> queen fishing, snapper. Fishing with queen snapper. And each one of these is a barracuda strip, so I think we probably should use this on one. And we so, should use which, which color? Those look amazing. Which color would you like on those two? This one glows. I like the glowing Remember, one. Remember, you gotta kiss the one that, that, that All right. That, you gotta give that one a kiss. All right. All right, there we go. So you, mm. Hold on, we gotta do that again. <laughs> I, get I gotta do it again? <laughs> Little, little, there we go. There we go. Little tongue. Ah. Good. All right, right kind of delicious. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which, which, which rod? Which one do you want on the bottom rod? Which one on which one on the Ooh, bottom? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. All right. I would. This say, one looks uh, so good. It does look delicious. So. And it's barracuda. And it's barracuda. My and favorite they nut. Throttle the shit out there. All right, yeah. then that's it. That's probably fun. the barracuda. That Bottom one's probably got more flavor, Bottom. I think. And then uh, with the with the the queen the, snapper with the uh, float. Yep. On the float. That's yep. actually a belly. It was so tough you can't stitch it. That's, that's pretty neat. Wow. All, All right. right. So that this is bottom. We're gonna lay him here. That's a glow in the dark. All right. We're gonna let him charge up. It's our barracuda right. swordfish bait. Unbelievable. I'm not sure. Who's we at the bird? That looks yeah. delicious. Then we got a coffee episode. Oh no. Is my <laughs> is my coffee spilling again? I shouldn't be allowed to bring coffee on boats. Dan's getting rid of the evidence. Alright, we're out here at the swordfish grounds in 1700 feet deep water. 
Matt's rigging up the rods over here. Bait of choice for the tip rod today. All right, we got our Barracuda bait. Barracuda strip. Barracuda strip. And then two lights, right? Two lights. Two lights. All right. That's that guy. Now we got to rig up the, uh, the queen. The queenie. The queen rod. We're, we're trying something new. Trying to queen bait. So we're going to run two rods. We got this LP going straight to the bottom, and then we got our float line rod right over there. That's bougie. That is bougie. <laughs> queen snapper. Queen snapper for bait. Jeez. Have you ever used queen snapper for swordfish? <laughs> bait First going thing, out. Keep the bait in the water, just make sure she's swimming. Yep, not it's spinning. spinning. Looks good. It's spinning. Good. So there's one light really close to the bait and then one light eight feet up from that. Yeah, eight, ten feet. Eight, ten feet. All right, is that the weight clip right there? Probably. This one? I'm talking to Dan. <laughs> yeah, I saw it come out and I was like, ah! Stop, brakes! All right, so the weight clip, so you, you so, have 100 feet. That's only 100 feet, right? Yep, and there's so, 50 more. That way we know it's coming. All right, so bait, 100 feet so of 200 pound line. Always let it go out tight, so this is tight on there, and then yep. I pitch it out. You gotta, you gotta be ready. I caught a 450 pound blue marlin like this. Ready for anything. Okay, anything. gotcha. All right. We caught a giant shark, probably a five, six hundred pounder. As it was going down. Before I got the weight on one day. And oh, as it was shit. going on, down, I was on the tip rod. All of a sudden it just stopped. If you don't have your thumb on there and this stops. We had a 450 pound blue marlin grabbed it as I was turning the corner on the tip rod. All of a sudden that thing was jumping and greyhounding out next to the boat. And I got the weight on there. Oh God. <laughs> it's flying up and down. Oh in there. man. We caught the fish. So you're waiting now for this thing to hit the bottom and then you're going to bounce it up. Is that no, right? Not, won't even hit bottom. We're going to get 1,500 feet and we're going to clip the bobber up. 1,500 feet. Quarter mile. Do, 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 do. You got a bobber with a quarter mile line out. I got a big old fishing bobber here. Yeah. It's a little bigger than the red and white little lake bobbers. And this is the extra line. It's a freebie. It's this is not fishing for crappie, fellas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Similar but different. There's a buoy for you. That's the bobber. That's a big old bobber. Oh, here it comes. So I, right in here? There's a loop there, so put it right on the main line with the loop outside of it. Like that? Yep, you got her. Nice. All right. Michael's got her. All right. There goes the bobs. So we got the bait, 100 feet of line to the weight, 1,500 feet of line to the bobber. That's our bobber float line. And then we we're gonna put down the one that goes straight down. Okay, there goes the Barracuda bait. It looks good, it's not spinning. Meow, meow, meow. All right, two baits going down. There you go. How many so this feet one's out? going right on. That's 100 feet. Go right, no, go right on this one, Heiko, on the, on the loop. On oh, really, on the outside yep. loop? Yep. Down she goes. Here we go. Down to the bottom. All right, we're officially fishing. Two rods out. Like we're on. No, we can't be on already. We yeah, just dropped. We're on. Struck. on, on, on. We're on? Hold it, hold what? It. Get that thing. What? This one? <laughs> what? All right, so we've been fishing for about I don't know, eight minutes. Fish is on. All right, Matt, we didn't need to do. Gotta get this right here. Hey, watch that rod tip for the fish. Okay. All right, I gotta get back on here. Is he, he's still on there? Okay. Okay, we're loaded up. I think he's still is he still on there, Eiffel. Ah, uh, I can't tell if there's something on there or not. It, oh, it, what was that's that? Drag. So oh, I, okay. I gotta, so that. So you grab that reel, spin it. So that's drag right there. This is drag here. Oh, that's drag. Okay, this that's is speed. speed. When that rod kind of like flicks up like that's that. That's the drag. You can hear it going zip, zip. Okay. So watch for any, if you see any swatting on the rod, I got to take and gra grab grab it and back the drag down. Okay. Because he's swinging at the line. Dan's bringing the other rod in over there, right, like look. a true professional. That's it. We got, we got a well-oiled machine happening. Woo -wee. Thanks for going. Oops, oops. Yeah, I was like, oh. All right. Brought the bobber in. I got 1,500 feet to go after that. This one's actually coming up pretty quick. I wonder if the fish got off. I'm not seeing the fish on here. I think he got off on me. 
Damn, he got away a little sneak. We don't know. You don't know for sure. Sometimes they'll come right up with it. I'm looking at the line. I don't see a fish on her. It doesn't mean he's not there. Trevor, grab that. That looks awful flat. Yeah, he, he got off. Maybe get that weed off yeah, of there. Of... Come on, baby. Destroyed the bait. Look at oh, that. My. Oh, my. He man. did destroy the... Son of a bitch. So he was just holding on to it. Never got Damn. hooked. Yeah, he never got hooked. They love that barracuda. A little SOB. They do. Just going to cut it off right there. You I could that? just cut it off and yeah. run it again. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. You know, working like a well-oiled machine here. I'm just saying. Okay, there's weight. your weights. All right, floats on. Yep. Okay, we're back in action. Something just hit it. We, got, we just got hit there. All right. We got hit. We got okay. hit. Yeah, hit it again. You won't. What's the depth again, Heiko? We're at 1640 right now. Come back for it. Did you see it, Heiko? I saw it at the corner. I didn't see it. I was. It was a pretty distinct thump. Yep. I thought a good weed had hit it, and there's no weed there. We are currently on our third drop for swordfish. We got bites on both other drops, but nothing that's stuck yet. But check out this big Royal Caribbean cruise ship coming by right behind us. I could go for an all-you-can-eat buffet, pina colada, a Miami Vice, hit the gym. Bam, I'm ready for take, jump on me on a cruise ship right about now. Back at it again. Well, we're done sword fishing. Now we're trash fishing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna gaff this, but I'll. You got it, your head. Got it! What's nice catch? What's the What's the nice catch of the day. Nothing, no, but, uh... Well, we didn't get a swordfish, but now we're gonna get Dan's favorite fish. Dan, what are we getting? Going for rosies. Rosies! I love me rosies. <laughs> Dan loves rosies. <laughs> you know I'm not a fish guy, but I like rosies. <laughs> yeah. So we're sending down the chicken rig, loaded down with squid. We're in a thousand feet of water. Let's bring up dinner from the depths. <laughs> I got some squid. Yes, delicious, squib. juicy little yes, squid. That'll turn into tiny morsels of rosy okay, fish. Okay, let's see those puppies. Oh, bigger rosies. Rosies! Rosies! rosies. Keep Elizabeth happy. Yes. <laughs> Well, there's only three hooks on this one. Yep, that's all we need. All right. We're gonna get big ones. Three fat rosies. That's it. It's getting a little wavy out here. Oh, we on the bottom? Hit the bottom. Rosie time. Watch out. We're gonna hook up right away, right? Yep. <laughs> Never use them. Yeah, the wind just shifted. So we're you're just letting the squid lay on the bottom right now? on the bottom right now. Trying to get the boat spun. Yeah, eat them. Um, um, um. Right now, our dinner plates are circling the squid. All right, there, there's got to be rosies on there, right? I don't know. Yeah. Find out. Don't know. Rod tip. Yeah, the better. It's definitely laying on the bottom. On the bottom. Got 1,800 feet, 1,700 feet of line up. Oh. Oh man. All right. Watch the rod tip. Smacked him. We got a happy meal coming up. I think I only got one. Away. Oh, drop him back down. Okay. As hard as it is to get there. Turn that one fish into two fish. Hopefully he's hopefully he's hanging on there yet. That's the You see any color down there, Dan? No! They just stole our squid, huh? All three. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this time. What do you want to do? We're gonna take We've been pillaged. Great great colors and plunder, all three. Dan's loading up the squid on the chicken rig for drop number two. Timber! Down she goes. Go get them. That looks like a fish. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got fish on this time. Hey Sean, we got dinner. You know why? It's because I baited the hooks, that's why. I'm sure the, that's it. Dan's got, got baiting. Smell on it. They know Captain the deal. Dan they know the deal. Lit the squid. There was no escaping Captain Dan. Alright? Not. Not. You see that color, Dan? I do not. Oh, there we go. There's one. Yeah? There's one. Ooh, 
Rosie. Rosie. Hello, sweetheart. All right. We, we had more than that on when we started. Hello, I can tell. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome aboard. Dan's happy. There we go. Very nice to see you next week. Got a little beautiful filet right here, huh? Hello. You're so cute. Thank you for coming with us. Cute little fish. See, look at that. Red bellied Rosie. <laughs> His whole belly is, is, is black. Blue. Yummy. All right. They're eating it all right. We got a little, they're, I, I see the tip was just shaking around there for a second. Dan's got the calf. The calf. Got, got the calf. Doing pull ups. Ooh, there you go. Get that workout in. There we go. Before we stuff our face with these morsels. Morsels. I like that. That's like the, uh. Tasty morsels. Oh, they're fighting. From the Little Mermaid, that like witch lady that would take the little creatures and just suck them. Is that the octopus? The octopus lady, yeah. Okay, we got a leader. There's definitely something. That Look at that rod tip. It's fighting. Somebody just doubled over, baby. Here comes something. Rosie. Two of them. Two nice roses. One of them's oh, fat. One of them's oh, a beast. Go. A fatty. That's a beastie bro. Ooh, get that dude up here, man. Don't lose that one. Don't lose that one. I got the weight. <laughs> Don't lose that one. <laughs> wow. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's the one. That's boy. a good one. I think we lost one about 400 feet down. Yeah, he's got some serious uh, slabs that's of meat on him. That's rosy there, boy. One yeah, the little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Karma yeah. sacrifice. Okay, we're going to do that. I'll do that. Yep. I'll do that right now. All right, All right you guys get that going. I'm like, all right. All right. We're going to let you go. Look at that. Look how good we are. Freedom! All right. You know what the coolest part about these fish is? When you let them go, they don't have any bladders. They go yeah. straight down. You don't have to worry about that. Uh-oh. There, there he's gone. There he goes. As soon as they turn around, they, they got to figure right. out their orientation. There he goes. There he goes. Right yeah. Down. Goodbye, Mr. Rosie. And now you. Oh, yeah. Wow. You. That's crazy that they can swim back down that deep, your, thousand feet. Your fate. That is a huge is one. That's a that bad. Not yeah, you're not going back. Sorry, man. Holy moly. Sorry he is dude. huge. He's yeah. camera worthy huge. Yeah. Look at that. That. And, and he actually feels. I mean, he feels. Oh, yeah, that's a beefy fish. He is a nice looking fish. Oh, yeah. They're nibbling again. They're nib they can't resist the squid. Here they come. Oh, two, two. Big ones. Oh, yeah. Two, two nice ones. Boy, we almost lost that one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Almost ripped it right out of his mouth. Nice. Look at that, guys. Those are beauties. Look at that. He's hanging on by a string. See, so we almost lost that. Oh, yeah, look, yeah. look at the size of the hole that you get in their mouth. That, that guy's hooked really good, but that one we almost... Almost lost him. Dan and Hike are gonna get them taken care of. I, I am gonna you, get the boat going back. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Nice. All right. Hey you. Whoa. It, their eyes, if the sun hits it at the perfect angle, they like glow like emerald green. Yeah, very pretty fish. You can stick your finger in their mouth, right? You grab them like a largemouth bass. Okay. But that they'll they'll try to flip sideways and get you with them rakers. You want right. to grab them solid on, see, see where you try to flip sideways, grab you? Yeah, so I'll just give them a good solid grip. Yeah, stick, stick your knuckle right up underneath the bottom of the lip. There you go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Mr. Rosie. Definitely a hard, <laughs> hard dropping condition. And yeah, this one was hooked good. And their mouth is like black in there, like blue, brown. Yeah, it's kind of starting to get black, but their stomach is really black. <laughs> yeah, we're good with bait, so... Yeah, yeah, we haven't lost any. We, you want to dispatch him, or should I do it? Go right ahead. Right ahead. It feels a little awkward with their, with their eyeballs looking up at you. <laughs> get those two in, and then... You know what? You lost the middle guy. I got this one. I got this one. Yeah. Okay, get, get that one in. Good. Good yeah. Keeping this little guy. Sorry, buddy. All Keep right, Mo Fish. Ouch. Oh, got me. He got you, huh? A little bit, oh. yeah. Not bad. But you did get me. His last little pout of revenge. Yeah. His little, like, ah, I get you. Open up. Open sesame. Open up, says the Heiko. 
If you ever need a lobotomy, Dan is the expert at Dan it. Is He's the over lobotomy. there scrambling brains. <laughs> scrambling brains. What do we got here? We got other bait. Oh, what's what's that under? There's a shitload of other bait chasing it up. Okay. Oh, sorry. Shit. <laughs> Nice! I was doing so good. Look at this. Another beast. Hold on, let me get the camera. So you got a triple. Triple. Oh, triple. Look at that. Oh my god. Triple rosies. Look at that. It's gonna be a rosy kind of. That's weird. a big one right that's there. A that's a fatwa. Yeah, this that's squid. Cool. That's crazy looking. I don't want to stick my finger in there <laughs> with all the squids coming out. They don't lose the squid. Wait, what is he? Oh, you know what he's hooked on? His tongue. Oh my god, really? Yeah, look. Did you say his tongue? His tongue. Can you get it out? Or, like or wait, or is his stomach? I don't know what he's hooked on. That doesn't make sense. Oh, we're on again. There is color down there. There's color, yep, there it is. Uh, uh, two, no, just one. Just one. The other one's definitely got off. off. Then. Yeah, we lost one. We probably lost one, maybe on that. Alright, nice. Weight secured. And Rosie is safely on board. Yeah, we got something big on here. It's fighting. Wow. It's Rosie it, is grandpa. It's even stopping the real once in a while. Look at that. Look at that. Woo hoo hoo. What do you think it is, Dan? Man, I don't know, but I like it. It's stopping the reel. It's looking good. I think it might be Moby Dick. Moby's Dick. <laughs> oh, not, not Moby's Dick. It's not a porno. It's Moby Dick. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can't see that. There's color. There, there is color. A big rosies? Oh, it's a bunch of rosies. Oh, man. Very big rosies. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, huge. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I want. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Holy oh, crap. Those are studs. <laughs> wow. Nice. All right, that is the Rosie jackpot. Wow, look right. at that guy. <laughs> we're solid on Rosie. I think we're I good think so to go. Too. I think we're good to go. <laughs> we are good to go with the Rosies. All right, All right. we're going to wrap it up and for the barn here. Man, that's a good way to end the day right there. High five that one, brother. Woo! We are yeah. Really awesome. yeah. That and was great. Woo! Matt doesn't want any of his neighbors to know, <laughs> but his swordfish carcasses are floating down the channel. <laughs> so we think that I might have a swordfish curse since everyone catches swordfish until I join the boat. What do you think? Well, we're getting better. We had a really solid bite on the proper, what I call proper time to be out there. So Heiko did not break the, the curse. 14, 14 trips in a row, we, I've caught a fish or hooked a fish on a certain moon phase at a certain time frame. So I think we're getting closer. Yeah, well, we maybe did, next trip. We did get a bite right away on the bait that I kissed. Yep. So maybe I'm not fully cursed. We'll figure this out. We're getting closer. Yeah. But thanks for the trip. We got a box full of fish. Oh yeah, we busted it out. It was a good time. Dan is inside raiding the beer fridge. And yes. I guess we'll get to clean in the boat. I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. That's some good looking swordfish. That is, man. Not only do we have a bucket full of rosies, but Matt's gonna give us some of his swordfish from yesterday. So happy about that. Dan's gonna hop the fence and jump in the neighbor's pool. I might join you. All right, we're back in Key Largo, and do you guys think that there's a swordfish curse on me? I mean, serious question. My first trip ever, I caught a swordfish, solo by myself, and then I went on like 30 trips in a row and didn't get, catch a swordfish. We did catch some with extreme outdoors a few times, but I feel like whenever I'm on the boat, it's like it reduces the chances of catching a swordfish to almost nothing, but I won't give up. Luckily, we did fill the box with those black belly rose fish and those things are delicious. Dan, it's like one of Dan's favorite. The meat is just so white and delicious and 
It's like that freshwater delight coming from the depths, the cold, nice fillet of fish coming up. Unfortunately, I don't know if I deleted the footage or if it got corrupted or what happened, but I, I can't find the cooking part of this footage. So there won't be a, a cooking part. And you know, on the South Four Fish channel, we usually end these videos with a, with a cook, but you can watch either Matt cook it up on his YouTube channel, Marathon Sport Fishing, or go watch it on Dan's YouTube channel, Florida Fishing Couple, because they cook it up real good. But thanks for watching this video. To the end, guys, please leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you think about my sword fishing curse, and I'll see you guys on the very next episode. Cheers. Cheers.